Are you a water enthusiast? Do you like how you feel when you're either in, around, or under the water? If so, then I like you already. My name is Jesse, and I've had a love affair with the water ever since I can remember. After high school, uh, I joined the Navy and became a SEAL and also a Navy photographer. Guess what? These two passions have never died, and I would love to teach you some really simple ways to enjoy the water. Most of us live close to some body of water, whether it be a lake, a river, a spring, or even the ocean. Now this channel is not about showing you how awesome I am, but I want to inspire you to get out there and explore them for yourself. Many can be explored right from the shore with basic swimming or snorkeling skills. Other areas may require a kayak, a paddleboard, or a boat to reach. To get started, you don't need much. A pair of fins and a mask will immediately let you see what's under the water. As you continue exploring the water, you will collect more gear along the way. Now, let's take a look at some of the gear that I use, which is back at my house. Remember though, a mask, a pair of fins, and a dive flag is all you need to begin exploring the thousands of dive spots that our amazing country and even the world have to offer. All right, so behind me is all the stuff that I've accumulated that I'll use on various different dives. And I obviously don't need a lot of this for any single or particular dive. Um, it's just that depending on the dive, I might need something different. So I've got a couple tanks and a BC and some regulators. Also, if I'm going deeper, I have uh, free diving fins and I'll use those only when I'm 30 feet or deeper. Um, I like to lay on the bottom a lot, so I use a little wetsuit. It's pretty thin, two and a half millimeter, I think, and um, a weight belt, which is always nice to keep me down. I've got a spear gun that I use for offshore, and then the ones that I'm using around pilings and around causeways and bridges, this smaller gun really works. Um, if I'm hitting a near shore reef, sometimes I'll use my kayak to get out there versus swimming, I can do both. Um, the other thing is this banks board that I have. Um, it's nice because you can put stuff in it. You can put either an extra spear gun or um, photography gear you can throw. If you're lobstering, you can put the lobster in the mesh net. And so I swim that out and on the back of it, it has back strap, uh, back straps so that you can hike with it sort of. And I'll do a video on that as well. Now, my little Sea-Doo rig, um, I use that sometimes as well. You can get really smooth footage with that. And um, also you can just, you can go deeper and stay longer because you're not having to kick. So that's really nice. And then I've got my little wave walk uh, skiff that I use. It's an actual, um, it's really a kayak, uh, it's classified as a kayak, but with the motor on it, I can get it pretty much anywhere inshore if the conditions aren't too terribly bad. It's pretty, uh, pretty stable as well. Um, there's a stringer over there and then also I have my dive bag. Um, but once again, really, all you need is a pair of fins. and a dive mask. So a pair of fins and a dive mask is really all you need. And then of course, a dive flag if you're gonna be going offshore. So that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And uh, if you like the video and it's helpful, subscribe. It'll help me make other videos and uh, stay tuned for the other videos I'm gonna make on each of these pieces of equipment that I have.